I feel like the greatest. Only been at this for two years. Thank God this shit happened so quick. Fashion be the latest. Money coming in, but so do hatred. Shit ain't how I picture, but I faced it. Emotions, I erased it. Fuck having feelings, I replaced it. Should have peed that fool shit from the basis. This one, the mistakes hit. Tired of getting caught up in this fake shit. I just can't sit comfy with no snake shit. I've been holding demons inside, I can't lie. So if you ain't ready to die, <laughs> Great investment. Look at that. Yeah. It's basically. Dude, I wish I had this. It was a. Uh, Stern who helped me out with it. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. So, uh -huh. I That's pulled fire. up and, uh, yeah. Yeah, bro. What's up, you guys? So, we're now, uh, we're here at Blair's spot. I'm actually just testing out the, the new lens that I just got today. It's been like uh, a year, right? Yeah. Uh, over, over a year. Since you got Barely, the camera. like four, a year and four days. A year and four days since I've had this, this camera, so. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. Yeah. This year has been insane. Yeah. In Insane. Yeah. Like there's just like a lot of changes that's like happened to both of us this year. I feel year. like we got a lot done though. Like what we actually wanted to get done. It feels good to be able to really focus because it's like sometimes I would find myself straight up just on Instagram or on Facebook yeah. scrolling yeah. and I'm just like damn I've been doing this for a little while. Yeah. Like I'm wasting time. Yeah. Like I could be reading, I could be working out, I could be doing something productive. Yeah, this is definitely room for it, bro. Well, you're naturally pretty productive. Oh, yeah. I mean, you have your little side quests that you make, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, always, yeah. you always get things done, bro. Yeah, a lot of little side quests. <laughs> yeah, I think for me, the two things that I've, I've really learned this year, and I've learned these things the hard way, is just I'm tired of half-pressing things. There's certain things that, that I'll go after, I wouldn't like commit all the way if there's like a, a person or like a relationship that i want i wouldn't like press on it all the way like i'm just confident but not confident about it so you're the word is hesitant that's basically what yeah, it is yeah. i've just been hesitant with like a lot of things like this past year and it's just cost me a lot when i mean a lot just like mentally it's just straining yeah it's just kind of like yo like what if it could have gone this way because like, you dwell on it yeah it's yeah like you're wasting your time exactly on it when you could have just done it and yeah. see how it yeah, yeah exactly i've just been so fed up with it it's just like now i'm everything's just go 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 i told everyone on instagram because right now my instagram account is like deactivated like mm -hmm. you can't find it oh, awesome. but I, <laughs> I didn't even tell you no i just trust me i see <laughs> but um yeah like the last thing that i said was just like I'm just gonna go all in on my goals, all in on anything that I wanna pursue. And like, uh, if I have to go broke for it, or like if I just have to, like if I lose everything, like fine. I find that that is a very mature thing for you to do. You know, so for you to be able to recognize, okay, I need to refocus, I need to recalibrate, I need to apply some discipline on myself and, and refrain from, you know, distractions. Another thing too, uh, that I realized about myself and guys like there is nothing wrong with like asking for uh, advice from other people and like delegating problems but what I realized about myself is that I would ask too much you don't always want to ask everyone what their opinions are all the time sometimes it's just best kept between uh, you and God and you want to keep that that decision-making factor um, I don't know the word for it, like alive like you know what I mean it's like sometimes like you ask too many people, then like you you kind of get like lost at a at a standstill. I have been doing that for years. What I realize is the more people you ask, you can't think clearly because now you're thinking of something that you're passionate in. If you want to kill an idea, tell it to a small-minded person. Think through your ideas, and uh, once you you know if you go to the end and it's like you're torn between it, then you can ask somebody who you think is a little bit closer or at least intellectual don't go asking yeah. dumb people ideas man like yeah you know you just don't want to ask everyone and then like right. be like at like uh, yeah like, a, like a, at a standstill you don't want to be just lost and then more often than not it's like your intuition <laughs> is right most of the time right there's a certain decision you have to make and then you get like that initial feeling and then you stray from it yeah by asking too many questions yeah. and asking too many ideas it's like damn i should have just followed that from like right? the jump right? right once you follow through with it even if it doesn't work out you will learn something about yourself yeah. you will learn how you operate under pressure you'll learn how you operate in a situation you'll build confidence based off what you are uh you know, experienced it now. Yeah. You know, so like I feel like that is important to just like you said, follow through, believe in yourself, get your instinct, cause yeah. that thing is that thing's strong. The way I'm gonna approach the rest of this year and 
the way I'm starting off next year for 2024 is just launching ugly, man. Like, there's no preparing for the perfect time or if this, then this. When I finally get here, then I'm this. No, it's just kind of like the moment the idea comes to fruition or if there's like a certain desire that I have, act on it immediately. I don't care how ugly it looks. If I have to embarrass myself a little bit or if, uh, I don't know, like if, if it just like, if an idea comes to mind and I do and it flops, like it's like, it's totally fine. I'd rather just fail fast, learn fast. You know, the faster I learn, the faster I get better, so. And I have to say, man, side note, I am so proud. Of you. I really <laughs> appreciate am. it. Though. Since I met you, dude, I've just appreciate it. This dude is ten years younger than me. <laughs> just, I, I keep forgetting. That. He just reminds me of someone that I wish I was at that age. I was into the, not necessarily the wrong things, but mm -hmm. you know, just just wasting my time. Mm -hmm. you know? Like I wish I would have wreck it or figured it out earlier. And to be honest with you, I had fun, you know? Yeah, There's yeah. nothing wrong. Everyone has different clocks, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. don't get so caught up with how old you are and what you accomplished, because that just yeah. turns to depression. Yeah. Like, you're just gonna beat yourself up and that's actually the wrong mental that's true. way to yeah. go. Like, that whole saying, like, comparison is the, the thief of joy. Exactly. Yeah. Like, everyone has their own destiny. Everyone has their own path. So just follow yours. Follow what's important to you. Um, and and believe in yourself. Bro, I was looking at my old videos, I'm like, bro, I was like, I was like holding back, like, yeah. on my um, first few videos. You said it, you said it yourself, like, earlier on when you started recording a year ago. And yo, you were pumping the videos out, like, but that was important. I was so uncomfortable in those videos, guys. But, like, but you did it. Yeah. Oh, I do remember it now. Like, you know, like how you were talking about, like, uh, like comparison and stuff. Mm. On YouTube or on Instagram, like, my life looks like, cool or whatever. But like your life is cool. Thank you. <laughs> but it's also hard and it's also very lonely. I maybe I don't know if you could relate, but at least me coming to Miami on my own, that was really, really hard. My first year in, like I just really didn't have anyone, like I wasn't established, like I didn't know the spots yet. I didn't know like the the locals who worked there or you know the I had to adjust to the culture. Another like uh, thing that I go through is just like just making uh, YouTube videos or or just trying to like aspire for certain things the things that you and I are doing it's like something that not most people want or is something that not most people do when you get into ruts and like um, you're trying to make something work or you're trying to figure something out like trying to find direction and and there's no one around like that could kind of like give you guidance because it's literally just you that is like when it gets like absolute hardest so um yeah it's it's really easy to to judge like from the outside but behind the scenes man like it's not it's not it's not that pretty yeah it's not always pretty you have to buckle down and really just like focus you know the fomo is like yeah. times 10 here because yeah, yeah. you could be walking around brickle monday morning and there's already a guy in a yacht with like three babes on there it's like what are you doing bro? i didn't even realize it i only went out like three times in the last six months really that's pretty good bro even josh josh is the closest friend i have here appreciate it likewise yeah. straight up like yeah. for real like that's that's real and we don't see each other all the time, but whenever we come together, it's always really yeah. good. Find somebody that you can actually like talk to that's not gonna be biased, that's not gonna like make you feel uncomfortable for you know being yourself. Yeah. Like, and now we're here being ourselves, vulnerable for you. Bro, that's something I, I had to um and I'm still working on it this year, just like being more vulnerable. It's fun. I can't <laughs> at, at this point, vulnerability is fun to me. And I think another thing too that makes it hard to be vulnerable these days is just like, it's just social media, like people are just trying to be hard all the time. <laughs> like that's what it is, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. I realize like being vulnerable, especially like with my friends and just telling them stories that they haven't heard before, uh, just like, I don't know, it just like strengthens the, the, the friendship. I'm yeah. telling you. We definitely learned quite a lot this year, man. So I think this, great was, this year was great. And next year is. I have a feeling. I have a feeling next year is gonna be completely different. Like completely different. We've been definitely guided. Yeah. You know, God has really kept us on the path. I really feel like everything, like everything that's happened, is God's work, bro. I literally vacationed here for one week, and then two months later, I'm like, yeah, I'm moving to Miami. I was newly licensed, like, uh, for real estate in Illinois. I just thought, like, I'm just gonna 
you know, be a good agent, and then that's it, just sell property, and then just and you did it. Yeah, and then I got the the chance to move here, and I had to give that up, come here, uh, and then like, rest is history. Like, I don't know how to explain that, like how you and I met. Like, this God's work. It's, it has to be God's work. God's plan. Yeah. Even like the other friends that I have now, it's just like I really feel like it's it's God's doing. Everything just came together like it was supposed to. Yeah. We wrapping it up, or you got something else to say? Uh, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all we have for you today. Blair also has his own YouTube channel. He will be uploading his <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Did you subscribe yet? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Press the button. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I will leave uh, Blair's channel down in the description. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, he'll be uploading his stuff too. Until then, guys, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. We're gonna grab this camera for Josh. <laughs> no, bro. I believe my friend. You lying, bro. Go ahead. You lying. Go grab his camera. You lying. No, I don't believe you. No, you're, you're bullshitting me. No. Uh-uh. No. This guy is gonna do great things, y'all. No, bro. He's gonna do great things, bro. Right? You're lying, bro. That's you, that's you right there. No. That's you right there. No, that's you right there. Get it. Yeah, we got that. Let me see if I have it. No, no, no. He got it. We're gonna make this happen. If we not, we got it. Hey, this is my boy right here. Bro. I love him. He's doing a great thing for himself. Thank you. And uh, I believe in you, man. I believe in you. Yo, I appreciate Make it happen. That. Listen, you. you can't let me down. No, you can't won't. let me down. I won't let him know. I'm the black Drake out here. You heard? <laughs> Thank you. I gotta make it home so my mama don't cry. I'd rather do the sentence this time or go by. But the pain so numb, I don't feel none. Should've still running around with no chill, but still be towing in the town for the drill, son.